What if DJI didn't just quietly rewire the entire Avida idea, but strategically engineered a quantum leap forward, dropping a cinematic FPV drone that doesn't just shoot incredible footage, but masters the art of 360 aerial capture in a single, revolutionary flight? Today, we're not just unpacking the incremental Avida 3 leaks, we're dissecting the very real potential of the Avida 360 Pro, or whatever final moniker this next-gen FPV drone carries, and its disruptive sibling, the ultra-portable Osmo Pocket 4, to redefine the entire content creation workflow for every YouTube creator and aspiring aerial cinematographer aiming for viral video content and top YouTube ranking positions, especially as we race towards the late 2025 and Q1 2026 launch windows, which are absolutely crucial for beating regulatory deadlines and staking a claim in the future of video production technology. The original Avita line proved that approachable FPV with compact, duct, and forgiving flight characteristics was a massive market winner, polishing that formula with the Avita 2, but the latest speculation surrounding the Avita 3 suggests a foundational shift to push past mere incremental tweaks forcing creators to choose between a single 1-inch sensor FPV camera offering unparalleled low-light video and dynamic range, or the radical, rumored dual-lens 360 capture setup that delivers native 8K spherical video and full reframing capability in post, essentially offering the freedom of a magic flight where everything is recorded, this distinction is absolutely key for cinematic FPV pilots, as the single, larger sensor delivers superior traditional FPV footage quality, crisper details, cleaner night work, and true 10-bit D-Log color depth, while the Avita 360 rig grants unprecedented creative flexibility but simultaneously introduces massive challenges like computationally intensive stitching corrections, advanced vibration damping requirements, and dramatically heavier processing demands for handling gigantic file sizes, directly impacting the storage and editing hardware required for a fluid video production upgrade. Rumors surrounding flight dynamics, which are paramount for any FPV device, point toward a meticulously redesigned aerodynamic profile, potentially featuring a highly efficient four-blade propeller setup on a lighter, stiffer frame, with pilots whispering about blistering top speeds from 120 to 140 km per hour in manual mode, pushing the limits of aggressive, high-speed maneuvers, all while the claimed longer flight time is supported by batteries jumping into the substantial 3000 mAh range and better power management, which could translate to a phenomenal 25 to 30 minutes per flight for conservative cinematic runs, a game-changer for long-take aerial cinematography, though, of course, actual real-world flight times will depend heavily on the payload, wind conditions, and whether you are recording 8K spherical video or standard 4K 120 frames per second high frame rate footage, meaning you must expect reduced runtime when utilizing the full 360 capture capability due to the increased power. Draw for sensors and processing, the indispensable technology that ties this high-end aerial imaging together is the sensing suite, leaks explicitly mention a full omnidirectional obstacle sensing system with smarter tracking and awareness, which is not merely a safety feature but a core enabling technology for stable 360 airborne capture where collision avoidance in every direction becomes exponentially more critical, potentially even featuring an improved return to home, RTH, function and compatibility with the new DJI Goggles 4 headset for a next-generation immersive flying experience that maximizes pilot confidence, even as complex regulatory issues could influence the availability of certain high-spec variants, especially if governments raise flags over data transmission standards or other security concerns, meaning commercial drone pilots must vigilantly track local FAA and international rules before committing to the upgrade path. My short, channel-promoting answer is this, if your current Avida setup meets your immediate reliable FPV performance needs, hold tight and master your flying skills, but if you prioritize the ultimate cleaner image quality and need that rumored 1-inch sensor jump, or if you're a VR creator looking for a usable, high-resolution 8K stitch and stable workflow, then waiting is the only move as the Avida 360 variant promises. To be truly transformative for spherical video production, now, pivoting seamlessly to the vlogging camera upgrade that's about to dominate the handheld creator space, what if DJI truly made the pocket line an undeniable powerhouse again, not just with incremental updates but with a complete, user-focused overhaul? 
we're unpacking the pocket four leaks and chassis shots to figure out what actually changed, what truly matters to the everyday travel vlogger, and whether this is the compact, stabilizing gimbal camera that finally dethrones all competitors. I'll cover the highly anticipated new body and button functions, the screen and control quirks, the likely camera and zoom improvements, crucial battery and audio changes, and whether the Osmo Pocket 4 still maintains its unique advantage over action-focused. Rivals like GoPro and Insta360 for dedicated, one-handed cinematic vlog setup creators. Put the rumored Pocket 4 next to its predecessor, and while the core DNA is recognizable, the refinement is palpable, the new chassis is rumored to be noticeably slimmer and significantly lighter, potentially dropping from the previous 179G to around 116G, a weight cut that's massive for long-form, handheld shooting sessions and essential for making it the best travel camera 2026, the absolute curious detail. However, remains those rumored extra physical buttons on the front, which may sound trivial but are likely dedicated controls for tactile zoom steps or quick, custom shortcuts, directly addressing one of the biggest usability complaints and promising a smoother, more professional content creation workflow that integrates seamlessly with a larger, perhaps fully articulating touchscreen, an upgrade hinted by new renders that suggest a jump to a $2.5 inch screen, which would make selfie framing and on-the-go monitoring vastly superior, especially when combined with the inevitable. Upgrade to ActiveTrack 7.0, featuring hyper-intelligent AI horizon leveling and next-generation subject centering for solo creators. Though the base model may retain a refined 1-inch sensor for exceptional low-light performance, the real excitement is the persistent whisper of a pro model featuring a dual-lens camera setup, which could unlock genuine optical zoom or a revolutionary simultaneous re-recording feature for instant reaction videos. A killer feature for modern short-form video content creators looking to maximize engagement on platforms like TikTok and Instagram Reels. A lighter body for the base model necessitates smarter power management, and the leaks are pointing towards substantial battery life improvements in the 1,500 to 1,800 mAh range, pushing usable recording time into the multiple hours and making the pocket for a genuinely complete, day-long solution, further cemented by improved internal mic performance and enhanced wind handling, addressing the common audio gripe and allowing creators to confidently leave external batteries and microphones at home. Price Talk is competitive landing around the $700 to $800 mark, which is a fair price point for a device that offers professional gimbal stabilization, a high-quality sensor, and a pocket-sized form factor that neither modular nor traditional action cameras can easily replicate, winning on the criteria of natural, cinematic handheld motion and the ultimate convenience for one-handed storytelling. The production looks real, the chassis refinements are clear, and the direction is undeniable, smaller, smarter, more powerful, and utterly essential for dominating the 2026 creator economy tech landscape. So the only real question left for you is which of these two potential game changers, the versatile, high-speed Avita 360 Pro or the ultimate Osmo Pocket 4 vlogging machine, will transform your personal video production first? Drop your definitive take in the comments below, and let me know if you are waiting for the Avita's rumored 10-bit D-Log or the Pocket's dual camera setup.